Self-induced ED from jerking it too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Self-induced ED from jerking it too much. Oh, what, from watching like porn or something? Hey, Bill Buzzkill. I'm a 22-year-old guy whose dick doesn't work. No, it is. And you can, you, can, you can come back. Come on. You can make a comeback. Uh, to keep things short. Oh, no pun intended. Uh, I've been single for a good chunk of my life. It wasn't for lack of trying. I'm just not very good with the ladies. This, in turn, led me to jerking off to satiate my more primal desires. I've been jerking it since I was 14, about eight years, and never saw any problem with it. Flash forward to about a year ago, I met the most beautiful girl, and we hit it off right away. She and I started dating soon after, and I've been dating, and I've been dating for about a year now. The sex is great, but I've started to notice I don't have much sensitivity below the belt anymore. I did some research, and I, pro- and I apparently gave myself ED from jerking it too much. Well, I thought that means your dick doesn't go up. The easiest solution is to stop, but after eight years of jerking it, it's kind of like asking a dog to stop licking its nuts. I want to stop because I want to be a better boyfriend for my girl, and I want her to know that I can get rid of this, but I've tried multiple times and have failed each time. Do you have any surefire fire ways to quit vices you were addicted to? I'd love to hear them. I uh, hope you and your family are doing well in these unusual times. I wish I got to see you when you came to Texas, but it, but it was, but was in university at the time. Maybe next time. Thanks for all the laughs and go fuck yourself. Uh, yeah, you know what I would do? Just go talk to a uh, a therapist. He'll get you right out of that. He or she, whoever you go to, will get you right the fuck out of that. That's not a big deal, and that's so so common. Um, I went through a period. I watched so much porn that the only way I could bust a nut was through jerking off. So then I just had to not do it for a couple weeks, and then then I was fine again with my girlfriend at the time. So that, that happens. That's why you got to watch out for porno, dude. That shit is like, you know, and then also, like, you just start going down these fucking rabbit holes. Like, everybody, like, I remember back in the day, back in the VHS days of porno, right? You get a fucking porno tape and there was always something in there where you're like, oh my God, that is, that is amazing. Like, that's what I'm jerking off to. And then there'd be something on the tape like, oh my God, that's too far. That's disgusting. If you kept the tape long enough and watched it long enough, then that thing that used to get you off didn't get you off. And then you had to go to the next fucking level. So um, I think there's going to be a bunch of fucking studies that are going to become way more mainstream about how bad porn it was not to mention the people that are in it i don't want to take away anybody's livelihood but like you know there's been documentaries about what has happened to people you know both male and female what happened to them as kids that makes them go into that industry so the whole thing is just uh it's it's just not something good i'm just assuming that you're jerking off to fucking porn but um uh i would you know what i would do <clears throat> I would openly discuss it with your your girlfriend and just tell her 100% and just say, listen, I need to get help because I love you and I want to I get through this. And just get it all out on the table. Now that it's all out on the table, you know, women, women fucking love helping the guy out that they're with. They're really great when it comes to that shit. You just got to tell them what's going on. What they hate is when you fucking get all moody and because you're holding your shit in. Just tell her what's up. Go get a therapist. Fucking work it out. I would literally tell her, listen, I'm trying to stop jerking off. I can't. I, I need help. There's nothing wrong with that. And you're not the only person that's had that fucking problem. So you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, 